sequence in that space, in those spaces. What do you think you might hear? Facts that I can't, I mean, I could predict, but I don't want to predict. I would just like to hear it happen. The head could be a laboratory for not only learning about sound and the possibilities of making sounds in an environment, but it could also be something that um, that allows us to learn about acoustics, that allows us to learn about collaboration in a place like that, and to learn purely about listening and the possibilities of space, architecture, and listening. Well, first of all, I discover how long the delay is, the reverb is. And I'd use that as a number, as a point of departure for making a piece that took into account how long the subdividing it into parts, meaning having players play individual sounds, discrete sounds, and making a piece that used the acoustic qualities of the tank. But I think I'd also like to have a slumber party in the tank. Um, and hear what it sounds like to have lots of people sleeping in it. We thought of uh, taking wire and attaching it at the, on the floor and then stretching it all the way to the top of the tank and making a, an entire tank harp of some sort. Okay, um, I would bring, um, for the first time, I'm going to hope that I could be in there a couple times, but the first time I would bring the violin and I would make, you know, uh, these uh, contrails, you know, just kind of going through, like you play one note, and then, and then, and then, and the entire tank would start looking like, you know, um, something over an airport, but filled with, um, you know, uh, notes. And I've never really heard music like that. The air is still like slowly moving, pushing, 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 and you know if you could really see traces of sound, you'd have a you'd have a strange kind of music where it would move through time in a different way. I would want to sing. I would want to play my body. I would want to probably use my body as an instrument first off, uh, just doing body music, patting, clapping. I want to listen to these sounds um, spinning around in the tank, you know, and if I would have my my bass there or and 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 some speakers, I mean, I would be, I would probably hang out there really long. I'd like to try sound painting in there with the group I normally do it with. There's about 15 of us normally with a huge array of instruments from cellos to string basses to oboes to classical guitars. A little bit like nervous if I would fit uh, through the portal because I'm, I'm a bit rotund, you know, but um, if, 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 if I could get past that, you know, and, uh, and be inside there, I, I think th the very first thing that I would do is listen. Can imagine almost an unlimited usage of it from using it as a sound effect, using it just to, to experience uh, human presence in a space, uh, to, to get inspired for, for, for improvising or whatever. I mean, it's, it's in a way limitless because it's something very unique. So, so, so I think it's on almost any kind of human field it's inspiring. So I wouldn't like to limit it to any kind of particular usage.